I arrived in Manila quite late, without any clear plans on what course to take, much less which school to go. Entrance examinations were already closed, so I was looking forlorn when I met my cousin who was taking nautical at Fiati and offered to assist me to get enrolled and help me to get on board ship for the apprenticeship. I ended up taking up BS Marine Transportation at Fiati. It was the middle of the tumultuous martial law years, and idealism got the better part of me. Panahon ng mga boycott, rally noon. I was among those arrested and jailed. I lost my scholarship, and worse, Fiati University threatened to suspend me. I begged for reconsideration from the late Mr. Jose Segovia, and he allowed me to be enrolled temporarily until my case was resolved. To support myself, I got employed as a houseboy and went to school in the evening. With God's grace, I finished my three years where you are now on time and my enrollment and records made permanent. But it took me three years before I boarded as cadet on, an, on a small inter-island vessel. Upon disembarkation, I completed my BSMT and took the third mate exam as well as civil service examination. I tried there, thereafter to look for overseas employment, but that was the height of the Iran-Iraq war and shipping was down. So I ended up as a prison guard, sa new believed prison. That was made possible by my civil service eligibility. I was assigned to ex escort prisoners who work on the fields, on the quarries, or escorting them to courtrooms around the country for case hearings. Ang layo sa pagsisiman, no? But this, this is also when I get the bronze and silver medal in the National Judo Team Championship. I finally boarded an ocean-going vessel as an OS in 1989, nine years since I completed my academic requirements. I was promoted to third mate on the same vessel, became an, a second mate soon after, but our company didn't employ Filipino senior officers then, so delay na naman sa career. I worked in the office for some years, then when they finally opened the management ranks for Filipinos, I was among the first Filipino senior officers on board their super tankers, my ULCC, ultra-large crude carriers. I also went to Intermari, as Captain Altares said, doon ako na-promote as captain, and then later on went back to my original company, assigned to supervise ship buildings, attend sea trials, and command new vessels on their maiden voyages. I was then asked to serve in the office again in 2008 and been there since, 10 years now. During the past 10 years, we have grown from less than 20 employees to more than 100 now. And we have also spinned off our training department into a training center. So, what is my advice to you cadets? Spend your time wisely. We all have 24 hours in one day. What we decide to do with that 24 hours is up to each and every one of us. Time once you spent is gone forever. So spend your time wisely. The first step to getting ahead in life is to wake up early. Gising na maaga. Invest in yourself. Invest in your education while you are still young. Read and continue to learn while on board and ashore. Learning never stops. Education has changed the lives of a lot of people for the better. As Sylvia Porter said, and I quote, invest in yourself, in your education. There is nothing better, unquote. For the lucky ones who have been offered on board cadetship already, Save for your examination, kagaya ng sabi ko kanina. For your review, expected long stay ashore and eventual trainings when you pass the exams. For those who are still looking, don't despair. Keep the dream alive. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, nine years bago ko naka overseas? Keep the dream alive. As Mike Tyson said, and I quote, as long as we persevere and endure, we can get anything we want. Invest in your health as well. Health is wealth. Live a healthy lifestyle so that you will get to enjoy life. Besides, if you don't pass the medical exams, you won't get employed. Diba? Lahat ng seaman may medical. Just imagine a captain earning half a million pesos a month, net, tax-free. Pag di pumasa ng medical, zero. Diba? Getting sick is also very expensive as well. Not to mention the time that will be spent by other people taking care of you. Kaya yung lagi natin sinasabi, bawal magkasakit. Take care of yourselves. 
Don't fear failure. Be brave. Grab opportunities. Face challenges and don't be afraid to fail. If you don't want to fail, prepare well for it. Practice, study, train, do whatever it takes to improve your chance of succeeding. I know of a lot of ratings who never took the exams because they were afraid to fail. Takot mapahiya. So naiwan na lang silang ratings. I also know of somebody who only passed the fourth engineering exam on his fifth try, pang limang try, saka lang siya pumasa. The last time we met, he was already a chief engineer. He compare mo yung sweldo nung dalawa, times 10. Yung sweldo nung ratings. Kasi nagtsaga. Limang beses siya ang exam Yung isa, ayaw, mapahiya. Sayang, di ba? Set a high target. Set your target high. You will be amazed at how you can reach heights you never believe you can reach. Should you fail to reach them, you would have reached high enough. Mangarap kayong maging kapitan or chief engineer. Huwag yung ratings lang. Ha? Sayang ang buhay. Sayang oras na ispen yung onboard. Or even higher. Diba? Sabi ano mga nandito sa harap kanina, meron nga tayong mga colleagues, attorney, may PhD, go on. Dream higher. In the future, come back and give back to your parents, to your gardens and kins, to your community, to your school, to your profession, or simply pay forward to future generation of Filipino seafarers. As Captain Altare said a while ago, some of you guys are full scholars of our company, Mansip. Libre lahat mula nung first year. Isasakay namin kayo, pati kadetsip. That is my humble way of paying forward for the leniency that the late Mr. Jose Segovia extended to me 40 years ago. I will never be able to repay that kindness will forever be grateful. Again, spend your time wisely, invest in yourselves, don't fear failure, set a high target, and come back and give back. So, go out there and create your success story. Go and make us proud. I will leave you with a quote from every trinket of Hunger Games. May the odds be ever in your favor. Thank you very much for the honor of speaking to you today. Fair winds and following seas to all of you. Thank you.